It's almost like something crazy happens every time we hang out. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. I, I should be the one apologizing. I should not have invited them to join us. There's no way you could have known that would happen. Still, I feel like I need to make it up to you. How about a free session in my spa? And would you be the one giving the massage? Uh, no. Well, you, you really don't have anything to make up for. But I can't turn down a free spa session, so thanks. Tell me, how are things with you and Tifta? He's my ex. That's all there is to it. We try to be good friends. I see. Look, Jesse, I like you a lot. And I don't mean to come off insecure or anything, but I kind of need to know that you're not just using me to get over your ex. That's not something you'll need to worry about. I meant it when I said strictly professional. Okay, I guess I will just take what I can get, at least until the contract is done. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm late. He had a domestic dispute. Well, that is to be expected, seeing as he's still married to that shrieking demon. What happened? Don't worry about it. It's, it was nothing. <laughs> so, why are we here? Despite recent events, do I need to make you doubt it? I love you both very much. And I don't want you to ever forget this. No matter what happens, you're both still my priority. Dad, if this is about what's going on between you and Mom, I, I, I don't Please, think this is that. Let me. Hmm? Yuma, you are I am your biological father. I just found out. And to be honest, I am glad that my blood runs through your veins. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You had an affair with Yoma's mother. Dad, how many affairs have you actually had? So, let me understand this. You told mom that you were adopting some random girl from an orphanage. But you were actually tricking her into having your own biological daughter grow up in your own home. That is very cruel. Son, I... I had no idea. I, I just found out. Yuma, I know this is hard for you, but please say something. Is that why you called this meeting? You shouldn't have bothered. I've known for some time now. This is not news to me. How? Dabota? Yes. Dabota told me what you did. What, what mom did? Dad had an affair with Dabota. The fruit of that affair? Me. What did Abimbola Giado do? She set up Dabota to go to jail for a really long time. And then took her biological child and adopted her as her own. 
brilliant really for all its evil purposes Yoma how long have you known? what's the big deal? is it lies the oil on which this family runs? well if that will be all I'll be on my way good night everyone Those were gunshots! Calm down, calm down! I just saved your life, you should be thanking me! Why do you have a gun? Why are they shooting at us? We should go to the police station no right now! Nobody's going to the police station! Give us your house address and we'll go and drop you off. Madam, you would have been shot, if not for MU. If you like, we feel not wipe you for your junction, Sha. But, <laughs> now on your, on your own, now you be that one. Um, mm -hmm. um, my house address, um, my house address is... I didn't want to be this person, Tibdo. Tefa was having an affair with my own assistant. The car didn't like I was blind and stupid. Then she got pregnant. When I had been trying and trying for a second child. I supported the daughter to have the child thinking that the affair might end. But no. The car didn't. I had to do something. I had made too many sacrifices for Tefa to want to throw it all away. When the opportunity came, I carried out my plan. My assistant got busted for a drug-related issue. I promised to take care of her child till her sentence was over. But the daughter did something stupid in prison, and her sentence was extended. But how could you do this to Yoma? That was my only regret, Yoma. But what is done is done. I just hope that this puts an end to the secrets of this family. I hope so too. But with Tefa, you never can really say. He always has something up his sleeves. Now that it matters. Why are you still going on with this divorce? That might be best for everyone. So why didn't you try to get a divorce early on in the marriage once you realized that he was cheating? I always hoped he will change. But people are who they are. They don't change. Tifdu, don't overthink your parents' problems. I am glad you're different. You're a good man. You're nothing like your father. Officer, she has to pay me my money. You. You think you say Mugwabi? Or you think I was born yesterday? Officer, I didn't want to go to her house in the first place. She was the one that insisted I come over there. She is the one that planned the robbery. There's what? nothing anybody can tell oh, shut me. Shut up! Shut up, you thief! See, okay. by the time I am done with you, you will see if you will get any business in this town. Mad woman, I know your type. Do you know how long I've been selling gold in this town? You just wake up, woman, and you think you can do... Ladies, ladies, please! 
Madam, you do not have enough proof to convict this woman. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. The best we can do right now is try to catch the robbers. Officer, the chief armed robber is standing right here. Okay, touch your hand. Just touch your hand, you see, she won't confess. Well, we can actually torture you huh? as she has made the same claim against you. How does this even make any sense? How does it make sense that I purchase something from her, then get armed robbers to go get them back? It doesn't make sense. How about my ATM cards and the pin that the armed robbers collected? And my phones? Please, 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 just shut up there. Madam, madam, you do not have enough proof to make an arrest. I wonder. We have to let her go. Officer, come on. This, madam, she's before you go, you have to No sign. problem, sir. Thank you, sir. back when I get home. I, I, I can't talk right now. I can't wait. Um, I found out that my mother paid the doctor to falsify the results. I will call you back when I get home. I can't talk right now. Yeah. What was that about? Maybe I should ask Jesse. I saw the caller ID. I, I might be Mr. Janka's child after all. I beg, I beg, I beg. You've been now, this child is no news anymore. Jesse and I did a DNA test, which said that I wasn't his child. But it turns out the doctor was bribed to lie. By who? Ask your sister. Stop. Stop! Get out, get out! Get out! I still would have preferred I left you out there to be shot at. Next time, you don't expect free ride from me. There won't be a next time. Uh, unless, of course, you get shot at every time. Get out from here! Yeah. No, no, not be your fault. Not where. I, next time, I'll, I'll leave a standing out there stupidly. Get out. Foolish girl. Let's go. Sassy B. Yes? It is done. Okay, so everything. Tamina. Whew. Good evening. Good evening. Is everything okay? Yeah. Well, I had a crazy day. When I woke up, I didn't realize that I would. You know what? Let me not bother you. The most important thing is that I'm fine, I guess. Um, I want to apologize for doubting you. I just found out that Mrs. Jangfa tampered with the DNA results. Mr. Jangfa is my father. Wow. This woman, this woman and her little lies. It's very tiring. I just want it all to be over. At least I have been vindicated. All these rich families and the secrets they keep. Even if I lied, I am sure my father in heaven knows that Ofri cannot hold anything against me. Even if I slept with her husband, I have said the truth and my daughter. The truth will set you free. Promise not to go hysterical when I tell you. Um, so, part of the reason my day was crazy is... I got shot at. Shot at? Mm -hmm. How? When? No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Mommy, I'm fine. M.U. saved me. He even brought me home. M.U.? Mm -hmm. Is that not your former ogre? Mm -hmm. I thought he hated you. I thought so too. But now that he's my step-uncle, I guess he feels I'm family somehow. What do you mean, step-uncle? He's just his uncle. 
What, what's his name? Emu. Well, we call him Emu. I think it's short for Mr. Umkoro. Tobore Umkoro. <sighs> I've had time to deal with this in my own way, Tipto. And I am not sorry that everyone is not getting the reaction they want out of me. I'm just worn out from the emotional roller coaster that is my life as a Kiado. And I'm just over it. Yoma, I spoke to Mama. Um, I have to take this. This is Marcus, it might be about Void. Hello? You need to come quick. It's Leon. He is very ill, actually. Took a turn for the worst this evening. Okay, uh, I'm on my way. Maya, please pass me a napkin. Are you not an organ now? Because they made you assistant. So you cannot do anything by yourself again, Abby? Okay. I've been trying to hold myself, but it seems like you want to force me to talk. If you're going to be acting somehow, whenever good things happen to me, it's better you go your own way and I go my own way. What is it, self? Eh? Could come about now since you want to go your own way. So I'll know your new assistant you've got to your house in Banana Island. You know what? I'll do just that. So I won't be taking all this nonsense anymore. I can be able to afford a new house with my new salary. Hello. Um, hello sir. Welcome to Oma Body Works Spa. We have the deep tissue massage for one hour, Swedish massage for 45 minutes, and we have reflexology which is just for 30 minutes. But if you want, we offer a special service just for a little extra. Um, sir, what I mean is I can show you a good time. It's just a plain. Do you realize that I'm friends with the owner of this place? Does she know that this is what you do here? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Please, please don't tell her. I, I'm what is your name, young lady? Uh, uh, um. Your name. My name is Leila. Leila, sir. What is it, Marcus? Where is Leon? Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, but I just couldn't find any other way you would agree to meet with me, Yoma. Do you know you made me panic? And I hate to panic. I could have met with you in the office. But we wouldn't have any privacy there. Listen, just hear me out. Okay, please. Okay, Marcus, what is it? What is so important that you had to tell me? Yuma, I owe you an apology. Yes, I do. I just realized that Leon really loves you. Yes, and you love him too. I should have stayed out of it. I'm actually going to stay out of your relationship going forward. Trust me. You really care about him, don't you? <laughs> you think? Leon is flipping mad at me as it is, and I need him to forgive me. I just, I just did not want to see Leon get hurt. I still don't want to see him get hurt. But, uh, I guess it's not up to me, and it's not in my place to test your love for him. You're a good friend. In your own way. No. It's how we've been with each other for quite a while now, you know. We've always looked out for each other. He would actually do the same for me if it was in my shoes. I understand and I accept your apology. But 
this does not mean we're cool just so we're clear i have to get to work i took the to the police station and they they said there's not enough evidence can you imagine well i'm going to have to deal with her myself like <sighs> what do you want me to do this is why you were acting up that you had an emergency. How is that my concern? Uh, I just need your help. Listen, I know I can get the money back, all right? I just need you to send your boys and prove her up a bit. And then I'm sure she's going to confess and produce the money. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that you have lost my money? No, it, it's not like that. I mean, my money is also part of what gone missing. But I know you, you can always get your money back. you do to your enemies. You know what she needs? She just needs to taste a bit of your anger and I'm sure that money will surface. <laughs> Since you know how I deal with my enemies, you wouldn't want to make an enemy of me. If you're saying you have lost my money, you should find a way to get it back. You know what I do to my enemies. Mm -hmm. I delete that. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. I promise you I'll get your money back. Please. I'll get you your money back. What do you want? He's not here. Actually, I came to see you. There's something I need to get off my chest. Otherwise, I'll be a hypocrite. I know it's important to tell the truth. They say the truth will set you free. And that's why I'm here. I owe you an apology, Zua. Hmm. It's about time. I kissed your husband. Next, on Unbroken. You think by sending your goons to a place of legitimate business, you think this is the way, huh? I want to see what you're going to do, Usman. Please do your worst. Show me what you're going to do. I want to see your worst. Show! <laughs> 